Rob, commiserations, wasn't to be in the final. Slow start, cost you got better towards the end, but chasing Luke at 5-0 is not ideal. Yeah, of course, it's, it's, it's a tough school um, to a certain degree, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, did, I don't prep myself with 30 minutes or 20 minutes. I, did, I struggle in other stuff what's longer, you know, so um, now nah, for me, I did, I'm more impressed. I played well today and... I'm happy with that, and look, we just built bridges going forward. Um, yeah, I had, I had a six-week period, but a three-week period was probably a little bit off um, for whatever reason, you know. But um, look, life happens, doesn't it? I remember speaking to you in Nottingham, you said you would get better in this Premier League. Where do you think you've sort of like not achieved where you, you possibly should have in the last 13 weeks? I don't, I don't know, I did it. I probably like the last six, um, starting from now, I've had a few few issues and other stuff, but look, I can't grumble. It's, it's, it's been great, I've loved being here. Um, yeah, it hasn't worked out, um, but look, that's that's where it is, it's, it's okay. It's not, like, it's not like I'm a broken man like I was three years ago, you know? So um, I come in, I, I try my best every week, but yeah. It just not really worked out for me. How do you approach the next three weeks? Obviously, the playoffs now seem to have gone. So, how do you approach the the next three? Well, you just chase ten grand every week, don't you? Do you know, this is the logical way. And look, if you're not here to make finals or whatever, then then you have to chase the money. Unfortunately, I never play a game of darts for money. Truthfully, um, it seems like when you win, the money comes with it. But um, yeah, for the next three weeks, I suppose, I suppose, yeah, I can chase that, and I chase ten grand every week, and look, it's still, still something to get out of bed for, I suppose, you know. Rob, thanks very much. Cheers, Pat. Rob, do you think you could be the spoiler perhaps for the next three weeks of this Premier League? I actually believe so. I think my game's in in a good place. Um, probably showed that in me first, you know. But um, yeah, you you can't tail off and. And you still got to hit legs, and it, it wasn't like I'm not going to put Luke down, but it wasn't like he was incredible. It was because I wasn't doing the right things for me. So um, I would never put the boy down, but at the same time, look, if you're not playing, happy days for him, you know. Cheers, Cheers mate. Rob, this Premier League season, as you say, has been sort of up and down for you. I mean, can you put your finger on why you haven't quite found consistency? At time? Yeah, look, I'm not here to make excuses. I've had other stuff and. And things, but look, life's life, and and you sort of move on. I'm not, I'm not, not being defeated, Stevie. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I've come in, I competed at the start, at a middle section, which sort of dragged on maybe too far. But look, life is where it is, and and a game of darts, look, it is what it is. It can be ruthless, it can be nice, it, it can be all different things. So. So look, you see, it's like Madagascar, isn't it? Smile and wave. <laughs> the penguins. <laughs> After the year off, have you, have you enjoyed being back in it? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I think it's fantastic. It's, it's saying what I want to do again. Would I say I was used to it? Probably not. But um, yeah, I always, I always look for a routine for what I'm doing. And, and at the same time, I think, I think routines got ruined this year and and saying what I was used to wasn't there. So so I come up with the idea that we try and limit it and not worry about that. But look, it is what it is and you are where you are. And, and rightfully so, you know, you do. Well, you sort of deserve that, you know. If you're not performing every week, then look, it is what it is. Cheers. Well, you sort of said three years ago you were a broken man, but you've come back from that and you've responded amazingly to get back to the top of the sport. Despite what's happening in the Premier League, do you feel like you can go to the match play and regain that and you've, you've got a real spring in your step again? Yeah, 100%. You say, yeah, I can even play bad at this game and still not really drop out the top 10. You know, for um, if I was going to well, if I was going to defend myself, look, I'm, um, I'm a bit like a clown, you know, I rock up, I win a world title, I do this, I do that, underlooked and um, it doesn't, doesn't really matter to me but never really been out the top 10, so I'm not really too much of a Scooby either at the same time, you know? So um, when I enjoy it, when I enjoy it, it's, it's a great game. When I don't enjoy it, then yeah, it's a little bit complicated. <laughs>
Thank you. Cheers. Rob, it's the first time that you've played the Premier League in this format where you're playing three matches in one night. Mm. Do you prefer this to the old format or do you think perhaps there could be a new format in the next few years? I do, I'm not too sure, you know. It, it all depends, yeah, where your own game is. So so you play these games and, and not being rude, you know, when it was one, one game a night... I would have been doing all right through the first five, six weeks. So I could be biased, but I won't be. So it's, it's nice, yeah, that there's money on the end of it. So it gives you motivation to win other stuff. There's a lot of positives what come with it. And then the old format, I used to enjoy that and all. But, but I think the, the key thing with everything is that it's all how you're playing. You know, you can go out there and put 105, 110 in. And go out there and, and put 85 in so it just depends depends where the game is and how it is over 16 weeks and like I said sometimes I didn't really play bad but at the same time you still find a way to lose 6-5 so ain't good enough <laughs> cheers Rob thank you cheers uh, Rob since 2018 Michael Smith has only ever beaten you once in the Premier League did that ease the pressure for you heading into Liverpool I did, don't get me wrong, me and Mikey played a lot of times and stuff and, and I seem to sort of, I'm not going not gonna to thing it because I think he's a great guy, he's a great player but, but I seem to have the upper round over the form or whatever over the years but no, nah, not really, you go out there, you wear your heart on your sleeve you put your best foot forward and look, if it's your day, it's your day, you know and I practised well tonight and I knew I played well this morning as soon as I woke up and that's what kind of player I am, you know. When you wake up, it's, it's like, is it happening, ain't it happening? And, yeah, I woke up on the right side of the bed, so I'm thankful to make a final. You had a two-year break from the Premier League. The last time you were in it, we had the likes of James Wade and Gary Anderson. Mm -hmm. Now we've got the likes of Humphreys and Lindner. What's the biggest differences that you've noticed between the two? I don't really, because I had... I suppose, I suppose Gary, yeah, look, he's the most naturally talented player if I was going to speak about Gary. I think, I think he's absolute great. Um, he won a Euro Tour last week, beat me on the way. And look, fair play to him. You know, he can still do it. He's still dangerous. He wants to give it all that are oh, finished and or, do, or whatever he's saying, you know. He, he plays it down and I don't blame him. But AJ ain't a factor with that man, not when you've got that ability. Um... I suppose the difference in the two years, I, d I don't think there's any difference. I think it's all it's all a personal performance thing, you know. It's, it's how you're performing and and you can't worry about everyone else in that room. You've got to worry about yourself. And if you're performing every week and picking up points and doing great things, then it makes the job easier. If it works out sort of at the bottom, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, lot tougher, I would say that. And you, you previously said you fell out of love with the game of darts, um, despite you know you playing impressively on the tour. Would you be able to elaborate as to as to why you kind of? I don't, you know, I don't really want to go there. You know, I'm I'm glad all them days are gone and look, I'm all repaired. I'm ready to go again. And um, yeah, we ain't going back there. <laughs> it's too far. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> Rob. Just. Uh, once the Premier League season's over, will you get some downtime to just chill out, relax before the next set of tournaments comes up? Yeah, we're looking ahead towards the end of the year. Yeah, of course. Um, I've got holidays booked and stuff with the family, so so it's great. I've sort of, um, this month especially, you strangle hold yourself, you know. You're going to play everything, but it's been worth it. It's been, it's been good. Um, I would say, I would say probably Pro Tours I'm going to lack, you know, and it, I'm looking... In the future, I'll probably miss the next three or four, um, and it's it's kind of it's gonna look on paper like an uphill task, but I have to perform. But um, but apart from that, really, yeah, try and get two or three holidays in with the family. You know, the boy's still free. He's madder than me, so um, yeah, he's doing well. You know, and and life's good. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get the time coming up. But um, yeah, I did. It is what it is, you know. And then hopefully 12 months time, sitting here you know, as Premier League champion. No, world champion. World, world champion. champion. You see, that's the pinnacle in the game, you know. Anyone must won it, they'd, they'd tell you that um, it's, it's, it's probably everything in the game, you know. And I was very naive the first year that when I won it, I thought to myself, oh, I don't matter, it'll be forgotten tomorrow. But it's a stamp, yeah, what you carry and what lasts forever. And um, being world champion would be everything to me.
and and it's the pinnacle of the game. There's there's no doubt about that. You know we we look at Humphreys. He's going to get the experiences this year, but he's he's probably going to be a little bit overlooked with Littler, um, not being rude and and fair play because the boys class. But um, yeah, apart from apart from probably that situation, everyone else would would have had a normal year. You know. Thanks.